good. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, we got the uh, Kimber 1911 out. We got some of these apple thingamajiggers, these big green softball things. And I'm going to try and go down a line and hit them all, but, you know, who knows? I probably won't. A little low on those two. Hold up, let me finish it off. Those two I hit a little low on the log. Gotta finish them off. Well, that wasn't too bad for my second try today. Uh, Kimber 1911 still functioning flawlessly after I fix my slide stop release, so awesome. So I did that. You gotta, no, you gotta pull it back, pull the slide back and just let it go. No, nope. hold it from the back like this so you don't snag your fingers. Pull it all the way back, there you go. All right, Natalie on the Kimber 1911 going for some of these green apple thingies. A little lower. There you go. Nice. Take your time. Nice. <laughs> got that one to jump. Did it jam? Oh, look what we got here. Um, slide stop release must not be fixed because it did not feed the last round in. So I am going to have to order a new one from Kimber because my modified one obviously isn't working. So one failure. There you go, finish the last round off. Do I gotta cock it? Nope, it's good. It's just one more round in there. Alright. So yeah, let me see this. I guess all the stoppages that I've really ever had was with these Chip McCormick mags before I fixed my slide stop release and so you can see how it's like nice and shiny now. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is starting to be irritating, the uh, slide stop issues. Um, I put about 200 or 300 rounds through it without any stoppages um, after I fixed the slide stop release, or when I thought I did. So another 200, 300 rounds later, I got a stoppage. So I don't know what the hell the problem is, but I'm going to call Kimber when I get home today and bitch him out, because this is a $1,300 pistol, and it shouldn't be doing that shit. Alright guys, uh, I'm going to try and knock some of these targets off again that we got lined up. Kimber 1911 had a, a slide lockback issue just one time today. Hopefully that's the only problem we have, so we can only pray. That guy right there was giving me some trouble. <laughs> All right, Kimber 1911, not doing too shabby. Pull it hard. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> you can't, you can't pull the slide back. <laughs> I think it's broken. Here, hold the camera. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cock it for you. Hold it. Hold it from these serrations right here, Natalie. Pull all the way back hard. Let go. All right, now you're good. You're hot. Take your time, just knock the target. Nice. Nice. You were just fucking destroying targets. Oh, a little high. A little high. Damn. You want another magazine? Am I dead? Yep, push the button to release it. This yep, that one right there on the side. Alright, here, seven rounder. Careful, don't point the muzzle at me. 
<laughs> it's empty. Doesn't matter. This way? Yep, put it in. Push it up hard. Now push that button right there. There you go. Seven more. No, you don't have to you don't have to charge I don't it. You have now. to do that? No. Nope. Take your time. You're empty. How do you like the Kimber? I like it. You do? Mm -hmm. It's fun. It's pretty accurate. All right. All right, guys, it's fucking cold outside. Just gonna finish up, gonna try and do a perfect run to finish up with the Kimber. Um, gonna try and pop all seven off. See how it goes. Well. Second failure, slide locked back again, second failure today. Just thought I'd point that out. All right, so we're gonna have to redo the perfect run with a magazine that'll actually feed right, or I don't even know if it's the magazine, it's probably still the slide stop. I see a little bit of rubbings on the slide stop on the inside. So, I don't know if I'm going to file this one down more or if I'm going to call Kimber because this is just it's getting ridiculous. All right. Attempt number two on a flawless run. Hopefully we get no more uh, premature uh, lockbacks on the slide there from the slide stop release being a piece of fucking shit because Kimber is fucking retarded. I'll call that a day. Not too bad. I mean, I had a few shots where they just kind of nicked it a little bit, but the targets weren't that big, standing about 8 to 10 yards away. All right, so when I get home, Kimber's going to get their ass chewed out. Take it easy, guys.